Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you all had an absolutely wonderful Christmas time. Um, my one again was a bit different this year, um, just because the, the lad uh, couldn't make it up and I couldn't make it down to his because of work. So it was a bit, um, yeah, it was a bit sort of downbeat, I suppose the word I'm looking for. Um, it, it just missed that sort of magical touch that we always seem to have when we're together me and the lad but it was still fun I still got to speak to him on the phone and you know I got him a lot of presents and I got presents so I'm going to go through my Christmas presents with you my pickups and that for Christmas because normally what happens is my family members say what do you want for Christmas and I always say Amazon vouchers you know because I, I can pick up stuff that I really really want then and they did, they gave me vouchers, so I picked up a few bits, so I got a few bits from that. And I got three extremely very special presents from three very special people. Um, I got one special gift from my lad, my son, one from my sister, and one from my two, two of my best friends, Russell and Jenny. Um, they sent me a lovely gift too, so I'm going to show you all those. We'll start off with my lad's one first because I absolutely love this. He got me a doormat. <laughs> I know, and you're thinking, what? Why a doormat? Yes, he has. Now, I don't know if you know, but I'm an absolute huge fan of um, not doormats, but of um, a, a Scottish TV comedy called Still Game. Um, and I absolutely love it. If you've never seen Still Games, I, I recommend please check it out. It's amazing. It, it, I believe it's on Netflix. It might be on the BBC iPlayer. I'm not sure. But check it out. It's fantastic. It's about two old boys, Jack and Victor. And they live on this sort of like a suburb of um, uh, Glasgow called Craigland, Craigland. And it's about them and their relationship with all their friends in the area. Um, and there's other old boys and, and, and stuff like that. And sort of like how they get by old age. And some of the adventures and stories they get up to. It's fantastic. It's absolutely brilliant. If I could compare it to um, shows, it, it's really difficult to. I suppose it's a very sort of... Um, there's a little bit of Father Ted in there, I suppose. Um, just because of like it's sort of... Um, uh, it's sort of out there sort of humour, uh, but it's so very not out there. It's very homely. It's very warm. It's very beautiful, and it's really, really nice. And it, the first few episodes, it, it's a bit hard to get a grip of because of the accents and, and getting to know the characters, but stick with it because you will fall in love with every single character in in, in the... um. In the show, and it's fantastic. Anyway, there's one episode in there where Jack, one of the old boys, moves into his new flat next door to, Vic to Victor's, and he's really chuffed. He's got himself a a doormat. They said it's something you've always wanted a doormat with the word "welcome" written on it, and so he he calls Victor out to show him it, and then Victor points out to him that it's spelt wrong, and so my lads bought me the exactly same doormat. And it says, Wecklam. <laughs> so the whole episode, it, Jack gets it ripped out of him. Everyone's saying, oh, you're Wecklam, you know, and all this sort of thing. And, uh, you know, and he's, <laughs> it's just so funny. So my lad got me that just because of that. So if you know, you know, it's just fantastic show. So that is amazing. Oh, I was so chuffed to get that. And that now has already got a home. It lives just outside my games room. So when you're coming in, it's got Wecklam there. <laughs> absolutely brilliant. So that was absolutely fantastic. Um, now, two of my best friends, uh, Russell and Jenny, who I've known for a couple of years now, and we've become really close friends. And I unexpectedly got a little parcel through the post on them. And I was I, I was just really, really chuffed. I thought, wow, 
and it had a little little gift in there for me which i absolutely adore and what they got me is the pub sign from american werewolf in london and it says the slaughtered lamb and this was the pub that was in the the film and i'm thinking this will go up nicely next to my thing poster on my wall just over there it should just be able to go just up there in between that sort of little neon sign and that poster and i think that's where that's going to live but i absolutely love that it's fantastic and i was so chuffed i don't expect gifts from people but absolutely amazing i, I couldn't believe it when when it because when it arrived um the 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 packaging it was in was open and i thought oh my god what's this you know and i thought it was just and this was wrapped and it was come with a card with joff um so i weren't sure who it was from because it was open uh then i read the label and it says it's from russell and jenny absolutely fantastic i absolutely made up with that absolutely awesome the slaughtered lamb which is the pub from American Werewolf in London in Yorkshire when they go up there on their, their in the beginning of the film they visit the pub. So that's fantastic. And the other special gift I got was from my sister. Um she bought me an amazing book. A really cool book. It's quite heavy and quite big. There we go. Halloween. And it's just called the official making of the Halloween Trilogy. So it's the Halloween Trilogy. So it's the 2018 film. Halloween um, Kills and Ends. And it's the official making of. And this has got a real human-like texture to it. The whole the whole book is really soft and glossy. But when you come to the mask, it feels like human flesh. It's really, really strange. Really, really cool. But it's an amazing, amazing book. Absolutely fantastic, full of wonderful, wonderful photographs and sort of behind the scenes sort of uh, uh, makings of and there's some great pictures of Jamie Lee in there and amazing picture there with Michael, really, really cool, such a great book, so I'm going to enjoy looking through and reading some of that. <laughs> Well, that's normal. That's normal for me, guys. If you're new to my channel, that that's a regular occurrence, all right? I've got a really crappy, crappy stand, as you can see, and, and, it, and it topples over a lot. Uh, I, I should have just get a new one, really. Maybe I will. I want to get one that's like a, a quite a high one, so it, 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 I'm going to invest in one, I promise you. But it, that happens quite frequent on my channel, so get used to it. Anyone that's seen my videos know that I'm always dropping my camera. And you get more pictures of my ceiling than you do anything else on my channel. Anyway, sorry about that. Yeah, what an amazing book um, from my sister. Um, I've got some chocolate. I've not opened it yet, so that's cool. Right, so... Like I said, I've got some vouchers. And so I, I purchased some films and some games. Oh, I did get another game from a family member um, on the PlayStation 5, Robocop, Rogue City. Absolutely amazing, really enjoying it. Um, there is a couple of videos on my channel, I believe, of gameplay footage of it. If you want to check that out, it's really cool. And yeah, so with some of the voucher money I bought, I bought myself a, an Xbox Series X game called Foza Motorsport, which I'm looking forward to. You may remember I picked up just before Christmas the Xbox Series X. I got it for one reason only, and I bought it for Microsoft Flight Simulator because I love simulator games and I love aircrafts. Absolutely love them. I When I see them, I'm in absolute awe of them, and I absolutely think they're a beautiful piece of machinery. Um, so I, I brought that mostly for that. I'm still, guys, trying to figure out a way how I can uh, um, put videos up on YouTube from my Xbox. Now, with the PlayStation 5, the, the, your YouTube channel sort of um, 
go straight on there and pairs up and you can put video straight away straight onto there only an hour long but you can put video straight away onto your channel xbox you can't there is no sort of like um feature where you can download like an hour or or make an hour video on your um console and save it you just can't it just doesn't it just won't allow you um there are a number of ways uh one obviously buying a capture card um and sort of like trying to do it bypassing the laptop well, i could do it via my laptop you know there's also another way of like where you can sort of stream it on twitch and then sort of like maybe download the video from twitch and then upload that onto youtube i've got to figure that out but when i do you will get some flight simulator um uh, videos on my channel and you'll probably get some photos of motorsport as well because i do like my motorsport games so i got that as well and as well for my xbox i bought myself its own sort of a headset just a normal sort of cheap one really just for my xbox so i've got me a playstation one and now so my xbox got its own sort of one Right, and I picked up a few movies. Um, didn't go mad, but I've got a few box sets, a couple of box sets and a few movies. I've got a 4K film of an old war film that I absolutely love, and I've been wanting to pick this up on 4K for a long time, and that's The Bridge on the River Kwai, um, starring David Niven. Um, absolutely fantastic film. I believe Alec Guinness is in it as well, isn't he? Uh, yeah, Alec Guinness, William Holden... What an amazing, amazing film. Uh, it's, it's based on a true story in a Japanese prison and war camp in World War Two. So, really wanted that on 4K, so I've managed to pick that up. Uh, I picked up a horror film. I picked up a Second Sight Collector's Edition uh, horror film of May. Uh, this came out a few months ago, um, and this is the, the uh, Blu-ray Collector's Edition of it. So it, it contains the movie, booklet, poster, art cards, etc. So that will be going on my channel and be getting a review at some point and probably an unboxing. Then I bought a couple of Arrow um, uh, box sets. Now, you all know I love Westerns, right? Spaghetti Westerns. So I bought a Spaghetti Western box set called The Complete Sartana. Now, Sartana, if you don't know what it is, it's, it's, it's an Italian... Um, spaghetti western films very similar to the man with no name which clint eastwood did you know with his fist for the dollars and good the bad the ugly same similar sort of vein of sort of cowboy film and it comes with a set of five movies so that was really really cool so i've got five um sartana movies there which is fantastic and i'm going to check those out so expect um maybe a week where i'll review two or three of these awesome movies on my channel that would be really cool and last but not least what i picked up was a, a giallo box set now arrow have released a number of these they've released all different colors red black yellow white blue i went with the blue one um, because there's a couple of movies in here that i've been after for a while um there's one called death walks in high hills and death walks at midnight and there's another movie in here as well which i can't read because it's it's all wiggly lines but it's um yeah so i picked this one up because it had a couple of movies in there all the other ones um i've got movies that i've not heard of but i'm really interested in them but they are they're not cheap they're about 40 pound 50 pound each i mean this one was the cheapest one it was about 35 pound but and it had a couple of movies in there I really wanted. So I thought, oh, it's a great way to get a few more giallos. Because I'm getting into my giallos lately, as you know. Um, so it would be good to, to review a few more on my channel. So I picked that up. So that's really, really cool. So I've got a couple of really cool Arrow box sets. That's really cool. With the May box set. The Bridge on the River Kwai. 4K. A couple of video games. My amazing book, my amazing pub sign, my amazing doormat. So I did all right, didn't I, really, considering. Um, considering I was pretty much on my own Christmas Day. But I did all right. So it was pretty, really cool. And I'm really chuffed. 
again guys sorry for me dropping me camera uh i hope it doesn't put you off watching my channel i'm just a clumsy old man and i will always do it but anyway i hope you've all had a wonderful christmas with your loved ones and received some good presents if you have let me know down below what your favorites were and what, what you did on christmas day i'd be interested to know